Welcome everyone. This is CCMAS MME 305, Engineering Materials, Structure and Properties. Today we'll be taking on lesson one, in which we'll be looking at crystallography as part of the wider topic one, which is on basic structure of materials. Hi, I'm Professor M.O.A. Shamuda. Today is July 16, 2023. In this topic, we shall learn about crystallography and its relationship to structure in metallic and non-metallic materials. How does bonding system influences the crystal structure that we have in materials? Using that, we are going to be looking at the difference between crystalline solids and supercool liquids. This will take us to the seven crystal systems. Crystallography, it connotes different things to different disciplines and different knowledge space. For us in material science, we are talking about the study of the arrangement of atoms or crystals in three dimensions. Fundamental to crystallography is the fundament is the bonding systems that atom exhibits be it metallic, electrovalent, or covalent, and this determines the structural makeup of atoms. This arrangement of crystals in space is actually determined by the crystal geometry, which ultimately influences the properties or behavior of the material, whether it is a conducting material or a non-conducting material. The crystal geometry describes the relationship between the atomic position in three dimensions, with respect to the reference three principal axes x, y, z. And this takes us to determining when a material is crystalline or amorphous. For crystalline materials, the structural makeup are ordered in three principal directions. Such structural makeup is absent in amorphous materials such as glass. 